programming is so essential to where we are now and then also to the future. Our students need to be able to program. When you get into these jobs, when they get into industry, they should be familiar with it. With the Wolfram language, it's really nice for educators to see how powerful it is and be able to incorporate that into a social studies class, an English class, a math class. It's anywhere and everywhere. And so what we're really trying to do and what I'm a part of is to showcase the power of the Wolfram language, but not overwhelm teachers. We want to showcase what's possible, but not limit the creativity that is programming in the Wolfram language. I'm a part of almost every educational initiative that spans K-12. About three years ago, we had a meeting with Stephen Wolfram and he said, you know, I really, I noticed that teachers and students are in the high schools are really looking to get into programming and we should do something with that. This began our long trek with the programming lab. How do we make a programming environment that's not too intimidating for a third grader and teachers who have never ever programmed before? How do we make it inviting but also give them activities things to try on their own and not just giving them sort of a blank document to, you know, sink or swim with. We've tweaked the environment, we've created all sorts of fun activities for students to start learning programming. And one of the things that we really focused on for these activities is that we wanted to showcase you can actually use programming to support computational thinking or to support any course. We have lots of activities in the English literature area, in the art and design areas as well. And so with the programming lab, you actually get to see, okay, here's, here's the code that you would use to create your own website, to create your own web form. But for students who have never programmed before, for teachers that are just getting into that area, it's extremely powerful. Look how much I can do with just a little bit of code. We have just had a complete blast with the programming lab, especially in the elementary and middle school areas. Uh, they just get totally blown away about some of the smaller things that you can do. You know, it's just anything you could want to do and showcasing the possibilities is really amazing. Another fantastic resource that we've been working on here at Wolfram is the elementary introduction to the Wolfram language. Now what that is, is a little bit more structured approach to learning the language rather than the immersive approach from the programming lab. The really nice thing that I think we've done is merge the two learning styles together. And you can find an interactive online version of the elementary introduction in the programming lab. So what'll happen is, let's say that you're in a classroom and you want to explore certain types of activities or explorations. And so you can tell your students, okay, here's some that you can try. And maybe everybody's getting stuck on the concept of lists. The elementary introduction is built into that platform. You don't need to go someplace else. It's right there at your fingertips. And then there are actually exercises that are there for your students or for even you. An educator, a learner, anyone that's interested in becoming more familiar with the Wolfram language can use it. And so what's really cool about these exercises is that they're actually auto-graded, which is a feature that I've never seen before with coding. I don't need the teacher to be an expert. It does it for me. So if I'm a student and I type in my code, it says check answer, and it'll actually say if it's correct or not. So that's a pretty amazing feature to offload some of the responsibility on the teacher's part. They don't need to grade it. They don't even need to look at it. The programming lab has done that for you. It's one more thing that we've done to try and support the teachers. It's freely available, and like I said, interactive, code, interactive, grading, it's another resource to be able to become more familiar with the Wolfram language.